Welcome to The Thing. This is an old survival horror game that came out in 2002. I originally played it a really long time ago when I was super young. And this is kind of a trip down memory lane for me. Because I remember when I originally played it, it's one of those games that just scared the hell out of me. I kept playing through the beginning again and again and again, because every time it got to a point in the game where it started to get scary, I just had to stop. I couldn't take it. It just terrified me. And after a while, um, I don't know if it was weeks or months or maybe even years, at some point I finally got the courage to keep on going, and I finally finished it. And I remember being surprised at how good the game actually was. So I wanted to revisit it, just to kind of see how I view the game now. Because I remember it being scary, and I remember it being surprisingly good. And I just wanted to see how it compared. You know, sometimes your memory is... is correct, and you go back to play a game, and it's like, oh, this is just like how I remember it being. And other times, not so much. And I've played it for about an hour so far, just to re-familiarize myself with it, and I've found that my old memory of how I viewed this game is very different from how I view it now. Very different. I remember being scary, and now it is not even close to scary. It's more hilarious than anything. And I remember being surprisingly good, except it's not. It's very, very mediocre. And the best part about it is that it's hilariously awkward. Like, <laughs> it's actually really, really funny. Which is one of the reasons I wanted to show it to you. Because I think it's pretty fun. Not fun enough to want to play through the whole game, hence why I'm doing a kind of taking a look at rather than a full playthrough, but fun enough that I kind of want to show you what's going on. Normally, I would say if you want to play this game for yourself, here's a link to the Steam page or something like that, but unfortunately this game never came to digital distribution, at least not the PC version. So if you want to play it for yourself, you'll have to locate an old and overpriced physical copy. Alright, let's begin. It's Whitley. What's the situation? Not good. What do you see? Not a goddamn thing in this storm. Have you found anything? Well, your transmitter's down and everything else is foobar. What do you mean? The base is gone, Colonel. It looks like massive explosives damage. Any clues here are gonna be like finding a needle in a haystack. Understood. Do a recon, see if you can find anything that'll give us an idea what happened. I could try to get the chopper back to you within an hour, but visibility's falling fast, and the report for your area is not very good. Okay. We'll make a sweep and report back. Roger. Meanwhile, I'll check up on Alpha Team. Oh, Blake. Just remember it's 40 below out there. We both know exposure could sneak up on you. Keep your team together and... get them to shelter as quickly as you can. Roger that. Blake out. And this is where the hilarious awkwardness starts. The very first thing you see as you get into the game is a huge tutorial thing that just takes up your entire screen. And the best part about it is that when you go to tell it to F off and go away, another one comes up for like a, a split second after the last one disappeared. So you hear the, you hear the game's audio for a second, and then another one pops up. It, it's just so weird. Anyway, blah, 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 objectives and blah, blah, yeah. Alright. Let's get inside. So this game actually has a surprising amount of, kind of, 
resources or uh, c kind of things to manage, really, not just resources. So temperature is one, for example. You can see the bar is going down because I'm out in the cold. And if I go inside, it'll start to go back up. But there's a bunch of other things, too, like there's your AI companions. They have a certain amount of trust in you. And there's all sorts of things like that. Can I access the menu? Yeah. So this is my... This is how I access the rest of my uh, members. And you can do all sorts of stuff, actually. You can give them weapons, tell them to stop or follow or do things. And this green here, I believe the green is their level of trust in you. And then the red is their health. So there's actually a surprising amount of kind of systems going on. Although I don't think any of it really matters all that much. Blake, you need anything repaired or even a simple bypass and I'm your man. If any of you take on any damage, get back to me ASAP and I'll help you out. I'm not carrying any dead bodies back. <laughs> I'm locked, loaded, and ready to make shit dead. <laughs> oh my god. And of course, the black character is the one that likes to blow stuff up. Oh. It's so hilariously awkward. Yep, yep, that's great, thanks. <laughs> and I love how they all introduce themselves to me after the mission already starts. Like, hey, I'm the dude that heals people, I'm the... Yeah, yeah, everything's good. Like, I'm the dude that heals people, I'm the dude that blows stuff up, I'm the dude that fixes things, like... Shouldn't we have been introduced before the mission started? Did I just, like, go out with a bunch of strangers and not know who they are? Seems like you'd uh, get that worked out in, like, the mission briefing or something. I think we need to fix this, right? Yeah, basic junction boxes. Now, I believe I can fix this on my own. I can. But certain more advanced things require an engineer, like this dude, to fix. And this is where they randomly make a computer explode in your face, simply for the sole purpose of showing you how to use the medic mechanic. Because PCs normally explode, right? That's a thing. I guess somebody overclocked it. Didn't have proper cooling. I need a medic! Hold still and I'll fix you up. Thank you. Eh. And the thing on the right side of the screen with my weapon, that is indicating that I currently have nine magazines. It's a hell of a lot of magazines. Where Blake has shoved them, I don't even want to know. Also, for some reason, I it, it seems like if you throw a flare, and you pick it up, it just goes back into your inventory. I don't know if it's actually possible to just put out a flare. Aren't they kind of a one-time thing? You light them up and they burn out and you can't really reuse them. But apparently in this game you can. More random explosions. The wall's exploding. Oh, I think I have a flashlight, don't I? Hold on. Oh, no, I haven't picked it up yet. Wait a minute. I haven't picked up the flashlight yet. I just realized the implication of that. I just came on, like, a... search and rescue operation without a flashlight. Uh... Well, that's some incompetence. Jeez. Lock to doors. This one requires a key. Which we can find somewhere out here. Also, are my people following? Slow pokes. These Come on. Temperatures are gonna kill me. Oh, by the way, your team are a bunch of freaking whiners. They just constantly complain. It's like, oh my god, it's so cold. I want to go back inside. Like, these are supposed to be professionals?
Ooh, let's look at that animation work. like a goddamn UFO to me. This shit gives me the creeps. Yeah, yeah, we're not alone in the universe and all that crap. Check it out and move on. <laughs> oh. There's the key. <laughs> Blake is such a generic, like, strong-jawed American jackass. It's like, aliens, <laughs> yeah, whatever, just do your job. If you actually found a UFO, you would shit your pants. That was a fire extinguisher, by the way. Can I only hold a max of five? Ah, I guess so. I'm gonna hide this tape when I'm finished. If none of us make it, at least there'll be some kind of a record. The storm's been hitting us pretty hard now for 48 hours. We still have nothing to go on. One other thing. I think it rips through your clothes when it takes you over. Windows found some shredded long johns, but the name tag was missing. They could be anybody's. We're all very tired. There's nothing else I can do. Just wait. R.J. McCready, helicopter pilot, U.S. Outpost North 31. The voice acting is actually surprisingly okay for some of the characters. Hypos. In situation, situations where squad members are suffering from extreme stress, using an adrenaline hypo on them will calm them for a short time. That's right. Did you hear that? Let's read it again. Where squad members are suffering from extreme stress, using an adrenaline hypo on them will calm them for a short time. Adrenaline calms them. Now, I'm not a doctor. But I'm pretty sure adrenaline is the thing that gets released into your body when you're freaking the fuck out. So why would it calm people? I don't know. I'm feeling pretty calm, though. I mean, this dude's had a big chunk eaten out of him like he was a sandwich. But I'm pretty calm. Just, just for the sake of, uh... We're gonna die here! Oh, I think somebody needs an adrenaline hypo. Oh, he's freaking out. How do I give you the hypo? Um... Area looks secure. Here. Alright, I'm okay. See? Perfectly calm. Anyway, just for the sake of something that's going to happen later, I'd just like to point out that we're all standing around this body and we can all clearly see it, right? I can see it, they can see it. Just keep that in mind. Alright. Advanced box, blah blah blah. In this case, I can't fix it myself. I need this dude to fix it. Okay. And... 
and wait for it. Ah, oh Christ, what is that? <gasps> oh my God! Chill out. Everybody keep tight till we figure out what's going on. Totally unnecessary cutscene. That ruins the flow of the game. It's all right, I'm fine. I know, I gave you an adrenaline hypo. You're nice and calm. Perfectly calm. Just looking around, wondering where the thing is going to drop out of the ceiling to kill you. You're perfectly calm. We're going to die here! No, you're fine. Hack, hack, hack. <laughs> I was just I was just pressing the key off and on and off and on, by the way, to make it look so weird. Um, I've compiled a five-page report from the autopsy performed on the anomalous corpse that was discovered at the Norwegian outpost. It appears that what we're dealing with is some kind of self-repairing entity that has the ability to morph into different biological forms. Access to medical supplies is limited. To myself and Gary. Code 1138. That's the kind of information Whitley was talking about. I gotta find that report. All right. I'm okay. Some reports around here. <laughs> gotta blow the boxes to read the report, of course. Standard procedure. Although this is probably the scariest biological entity I have ever encountered, I feel that under the correct study conditions, this could advance our understanding of biology greatly. Yes, yes. Like, I guess, I guess it really would, wouldn't it? I mean, what is the thing made out of? I guess the basic, like, the most interesting ability of the thing, I suppose, is its ability to mimic, and I, I guess its ability to change incredibly rapidly, so I guess that thing produces cells at a ridiculously high rate. Like, it can divide cells ridiculously fast. The virus has the ability to replicate the original biological entity, including the clothing. Okay, and that's something that you just can't really do. I'm not using cell division. You, you can't divide cells to make clothing. Especially not synthetic clothing. Also, I love these random reports that are just strewn about. Because if you look at the piece of paper, it's like a full page. It's even dated at the bottom. But then if you go to read it... An infected entity has the ability to fragment and survive. Every part of it is a whole. And it's just like... It's just like a tweet length. Like somebody just wrote a tweet length thing on a piece of paper and just like threw it on a counter and then wrote another one and threw it on a different counter. Like, what the hell? Where's the context on this? Who even wrote this? Is this a report or what? This is like a post-it note. It's just so clumsily and awkwardly delivered. If an infected entity reaches the mainland when global infection will occur, uh, then global inf infection will occur in approximately 72,000 hours. Access door codes. Access code doors. Doors access code. I already have it. Let's go. Area looks secure. Yes, thank you. I'm the one going first. I think I can tell that best, not you. What do you mean, what the hell? I think he's angry that I didn't use him to fix it. And this is how you save the game. Already got some save slots here, but I guess I can just start some new ones. I'm not going to be dying anyway. Okay, access to a new place. Follow the lights. Whitley, this is Blake. What have you got? One body. Identification says childs, no survivors. And what appears to be a... One body? And, 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 and what? And some kind of unidentified craft. It looks... Well, like a, a UFO. Colonel? Colonel! Roger. I'll have a chopper there ASAP. 
There's a supply crate that was dropped earlier near the base. It contains C4 charges. I want you to rig all the remaining buildings and I'll remote detonate them from here. Affirmative. I'll contact you when we're finished. Is it standard operating procedure to just drop C4 explosives and assume that you're going to have to blow up a place when you're doing some sort of a search and rescue operation? I mean, think about this. They lost contact, right? Isn't that why we were sent in? They lost contact with this place? And apparently they think something violent maybe occurred because we all have guns. So it's not just a search and rescue. I guess it's some sort of a... Well, I mean, what? Some sort of national security issue? Like, maybe... Somebody... Took control of the outpost? Why else would we be outfitted with guns? I'm not sure. Maybe something happened in the end of the Thing movie that... Would clear that up? I don't think they ever got out a distress, a distress call or anything like that, though, did they? I actually can't remember. And this game does take place after the end of the the Thing movie, by the way. Hence this character, Childs. It does seem strange, though. It's like standard operating procedure to drop C4 explosives. It's kind of weird. Let's go blue some stuff up. And return to where we picked up the Z4, and then everything is going to go boom. Colonel, we've completed the explosives placement. Standing by for evac. Anything from Alpha Team? Negative. Could be the storm. Must be. I've been getting partial transmissions for the last hour or so. I'm going to assemble my team. When the chopper arrives, I'll have it drop me at Alpha's rendezvous. Negative. You have your orders, Captain. Don't put this mission in jeopardy. I understand, Colonel, but I don't have much choice. Pierce's team is in trouble. Besides, if there are any survivors, I'm the only one on the team that speaks Norwegian. Blake out. Blake, do you read me? Roger, Colonel. This is Blake. Have you found anyone yet? Nothing yet. I just arrived. The storm is worsening. It may take a while to find anything. Looks like that little stunt of yours might pay off. I don't understand, Colonel. I received a partial transmission from Pierce. He's found something. Might be research. Find him and get back to me ASAP. Affirmative. Did he say if there were any hostiles in the area? Negative. No hostiles. Okay, I'm on it. Blake out. Okay, so I'm a, apparently I'm supposed to rescue Alpha Team, whoever they are. And I'd also like to point out that my team just left me. I'm now completely alone. There's, there's no one with me. And you might wonder why. I'm wondering the exact same thing, because I still have no idea why they left me. Like, why am I suddenly alone? I, I've seen that cutscene a couple times now, and I don't see them say any reason for why my team left me. Wouldn't you want to stay together? They're just gone. Why? Why am I alone? It seems incredibly dangerous. 
I don't understand. Oh my god, I can't walk here. be a few thousand volts. I gotta find the power source. Fresh flare. Couldn't have been here too long. And we're about to get into some combat. Are you ready? It's not quite yet, but soon. The combat is going to blow your socks off. Identify yourself. Captain, it's Carter. Christ, where's everybody? What happened here? Some. I don't know what they were, but they attacked us. I thought they was part of the... 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 the wait a minute. Don't you come any closer. Where the hell did you come from anyways? A chopper brought me in. From the U.S. research station, five clicks south of here. Ah, uh, I'm hurt pretty bad. Don't move, I'll see what I can do. Can you heal him? Mm-hmm. I'm pretty messed up. And dealing with trust. Okay, so he doesn't trust me. And what... <laughs> looks like he's freaking the fuck out. One of the things you can do to increase trust is to give him stuff. Alright, I'm okay. Area looks secure. Alright, he still doesn't trust me that much. He's in the yellow. And I don't know what that means. Like, I don't know if it means he won't help me or if he'll try to punch me in the back of the head when I'm not, lo like, not looking or something. I'm not really sure what the negative effects are. Oh, can I give orders because trust is too low? Ah, okay. Anyway, let's increase trust by giving him the pistol Maybe and the ammunition. I'll just give him all of it. There we go. Now he trusts me. We cool? We cool. Uh, you might want to move. Okay. Hey, looks like your last girlfriend. <laughs> good one. Fuck you. I like those noises. They're hot. Just like my foot, that's burning. Flamethrower? By the way, I actually did not know what was in here. When I first played this, uh, a little while ago, just to re-familiarize myself with the game, when I played it for about an hour, I never actually went in here. I, it's just now that I realize that you can blow up those things and it looked like you could get in here, and indeed you can. So now I have a flamethrower, huh? Uh, I didn't mean to use it on you. I wanted to use it on myself. Get out of get out of here. There we go. I guess I pointed in his general direction. Cool. What? Come on. Lame. Ah, uh, yeah, I gotta get the power up. Which you can do. Alright. You know, I think the reason that they had your squad just kind of disappear for no particular reason, I think the reason they did that is literally just so that they can introduce new characters. Because otherwise, there wouldn't be enough character slots to put them in. We're all going crazy. This thing in the ice. Don't know who is human and who isn't. Morale is low, and I don't think our chances are good. Nope. This dude's probably a thing, by the way. Maybe, plot twist, I'm a thing.
CCTV terminals. Yep, yep, yep. I need to code. In here that can help me. There is. And it's right there. If I can remember how to zoom in. There we go. Oh, there it is. Yeah, there's a cutscene and then another cutscene when you walk inside. Blake, where'd you come from? I received some partial transmissions from Pierce. It sounded like there was a problem. Shit, you got that right. We got ambushed by these things. I don't know where they came from, man. Everybody lost it. The squad split up. Have you talked to Pierce? I got part of a radio message from him. He said he was at the north section of the base. He was talking some... some medical mumbo shit. He said he wanted to talk to the colonel. The colonel hasn't contacted you? Man, I haven't heard shit from anyone. Let me try my radio. Blake to Colonel Whitley, do you read? Blake to Colonel Whitley, urgent. Alright, let's head north and get Pierce. Are you a medic? No, you're a uh, assault. I need an engineer. Okay. Uh, key to something, I have no idea what. Classified. Combat! And then more combat! And more combat! There's even a first-person mode. Yeah, look at that gun model. What the? I didn't. What? <laughs> Light the damn thing first. Come on. The gunplay is really amazing. Don't even know what those are. I think they're grenades. We got company. I swear there's like five med packs left in there, but apparently I can't open it anymore. Okay. Killing Thing Beasts. The very small thing beasts can easily be dealt with using normal weaponry, however any other form of the thing requires a two-stage attack. First you have to use normal weapons to reduce its health, and then you have to burn it. So wait, maybe these, maybe these are incendiary grenades. You're gonna get us killed! Time's up, Blake. Shit! <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh. Got hit by the blast radius. And then he thought I was an enemy. That's fine. Yeah, the AI is not very smart. If you shoot them just like once, they just think you're an enemy. It's like, the misfires apparently don't even exist. Wait, where am I actually going? It came from here, right? Yeah, it came from there, so this is the way. And, um... I think this is... I think this is actually as far as I played on my own, so I, I'm actually kind of in unexplored territory here. Or at least territory that I haven't explored for 10 plus years. Of course this... This game is so authentic that miniature thing beasts just pop out of boxes. Because why not? It's totally a thing that happened in the movie, right? I'm okay. Area looks secure. For some reason I can't fit more than five flares in my pack, but I can fit uh what is it? Three? Three fire extinguishers. Hmm. Curious that. My whole body's numb. Oh, you know what? If I remember right, I think there's a dude in here. At least one dude. I need an engineer. Okay. Okay, that music is cool. Very the thingish, very John Carpenter. Oh, and then it goes away, of course. Hello. I think there's someone here. Mm-hmm. Hold it. Pierce, it's Blake. It's okay. Put your weapon down. No way. You're infected just like all the others. I'm not. Your word ain't shit, Captain. I found a report that says the only way to prove you're not one of those things is through a blood test. Now, there's a medical kit near the kennel. You go get it and come back here, and I'll watch you do the test. I'm assuming the kennel is this way. Random explosion again. You know, I remember. Yes, sir. area looks secure. I remember when I originally played this, even when I was really young and didn't really know what the hell I was doing. And you know, it's just a stupid little shit, so I didn't really understand anything about anything. But I remember, even when I was young, I thought one of the flaws in this game was that. It becomes too much like fighting waves of enemies as you continue on. Like, after I pushed past that initial spot where the game was scary, after that it just became just so much about action that it wasn't really all that scary. Okay, some flames next to some explosives. That's safe. This is not the kennel, is it? No. Get Got company. Weapon. Well, the angle of that camera shot was so weird. It looked like they were going away from us, but then they're actually coming towards us. Ugh. Oh, the other things that I was picking up was ammo for the flamethrower, wasn't it? I think it was. Yeah. Which is good, because I'm actually almost out of magazines for this thing.
Alright, where's the kennels? It's definitely not in here. And this is where I just came from, isn't it? Now, I did just get the key to something, but... These temperatures are gonna kill me! But the key to what? This is where I started. Oh, I never went this direction, did I? Here we go. I need a weapon. He was getting attacked by thing beasts, and for some reason he thought the best thing to do was just stand right <laughs> next to the door and not do anything. Not too bright, that one. Anyway, blood test typos. Uh, God, look at this crap. Who's gonna read this? Ugh. Press the mouse button to... Sure. So yeah, apparently the guy wants a weapon. Unfortunately, though, I only have two, and I don't really want to give either of them away. Let's see if we can find an extra one. All right. You're fine. Actually, maybe he's not. Where's my this weapon? Is bullshit. Thanks. Fun fact, there's two patches that have been released. Where's my weapon? They never stop. Fun fact, there's two uh, two patches that have been released for this game. And of course I have them installed. Can't stand much more of this. And it was actually only the newest patch that outed that added mouse look to the game. So by default, this game apparently does not have mouse look. Damn, it's cold. When I saw that, I just scratched my head and thought, "What? A shooter on the PC without mouse look?" All right, I think we just. You got the kid. Good. The report said the hypo contains a chemical that reacts with blood. Do it. We'll soon know, one way or another. Now I'm going to show you what I already know. That is a big ass... Look, look at that, how much... Oh my god, that's like half your blood. <laughs> you would Maybe so faint. Will get us out of this. I don't know what we're doing here. Shit's about to go down. <gasps> He's one of them. I gotta weaken it first.
Oh, there's two of them. Ow, don't hit me, asshole. We're good. Ooh, I'll get my pistol back. I guess we're best buds now. Damn it. What? Pierce must have got lost behind me somewhere. <laughs> they just make crew members just disappear for no particular reason. Pace! What the hell are you doing? Blake, is that you? Oh man, am I glad to see you. Yeah, it's me, you jackass! Now let's get inside! What the hell happened? Look, man, me and Williams were tracking this weird animal through the base, and we lost him in a storm, and then we ran into a Swede. Norwegian. Yeah, the Norwegian guy. Well, he started shouting and attacking me, and I started chasing him, and I lost him in the storm. What about Williams? I lost him, too. Christ. <laughs> that was like the, the dramatic end of the scene. Close up on his face. <gasps> Christ. I love it. Alright, well, I think I will end this episode here. And by episode, I mean end the entire thing here, because I... Well, I just realized, yeah, I'm not doing a full playthrough, am I? So yeah, in the end, this game is... It's... Honestly, it's not bad. It's definitely not bad. It's just very mediocre. It's just a fairly repetitive action-adventure game where you just fight off hordes and hordes of enemies. It seems to make the classic mistake of confusing... It seems to confuse throwing lots of enemies in your face with horror. And they're not the same thing. If you make some encounters with enemies... You know, if you make some enemies and make their behaviors kind of creepy and... And then you just multiply the enemies by like 200 times and just have them keep coming at you again and again and again. It doesn't work. Even if maybe the first time you encounter an enemy, it's creepy. If you do it a dozen more times, or a hundred more times, it just doesn't work. So... It's really not a very scary game at all, it's... It's just an action game, I mean it really is an action game. At first it's a little bit of horror, before the enemies kind of come into everything and just start blowing out of boxes and stuff. But then after that, it just becomes an action game. Really, uh... akin more to, like, Resident Evil 4 than any kind of classic survival horror game. Although I suppose Resident Evil 4 is kind of a classic survival horror game, isn't it? Well, not really. Yeah, it looks alright. Agreed. Although... Uh, I guess Resident Evil 4 is not really survival horror, is it? I mean, it is basically just an action game. And same with this. It's really not horror, it's just action. And... It's fairly mediocre, and... pretty damn repetitive. It's not great, but... Eh, it's okay. And it's pretty damn hilarious. It's just so awkward. With everything, the tutorial messages, the writing... It's just really funny. Not funny enough to keep going for... 8 or 10 hours or however long it is, because undoubtedly it won't be funny for that long. It'll wear out its welcome. These temperatures are gonna kill me. Oh, you'll be fine. Here, let me heat you up.
So yeah, I want to end on a good note. I want to end on that note. That is the perfect note to end on. This game is funny and awkward, but only if you end it within like the first hour and don't keep going until your brain turns to mush with the repetitiveness of it. So let's just end it right there. It's perfect. I want this to be my lasting memory of this game. Burning my comrade to death because he complained it was cold. Alright, so that has been The Thing. I hope you enjoyed, and thank you for watching.